Good morning, Maggie Ravenswing here. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'll be talking about crystals and left and right handed crystals, but I wanted to show you something first. I don't know how you'll be able to see this. This is my work area, and as you can see, I've got all sorts of crystals here, bags and bags. And this is my project, the Hangman Collection. And that's what I've been working on lately. Um, now we're going to go over here to my altar. Where I've got a variety of things. And these are the ones that I'll be talking about today. Left and right handed crystals. Okay, let me flip this around. Get comfortable. Okay, so... What I've found with working with crystals, especially with uh, clear quartz, such as this, um, they have a lot of properties. You can look them up. Uh, mainly, it's enhancing the energy, directing it, and helping to project it and heal and clear energy. Um, Clear quartz crystals have a lot of different things in them. Some have inclusions, some have bubbles, rainbows, um, all sorts of things. This is one of my biggest chunks. Not the biggest, but one of my biggest. And I found that meditating with crystals, sometimes you can hold them in a certain way and it enhances your concentration. Well... It does for me. So, I had been gifted for my friend a bunch of quartz crystals. And at the time, this was one of the largest ones that she had sent me. And it was, do what you want with them. I just don't have the space for them. And I said, okay, that's cool. There's lots of different faces on them. And it always felt very comfortable holding it in my hand. So, and I felt that you could put, with the groove that's over here on this side, I could put my thumb in, accessing all the energy and uh, codes from it, and hold it with my hands along the ridges this way. And like this, see, makes it very easy, very comfortable to hold. Easily transferred over to the other hand, just have to switch the way I hold it a little bit, it makes a little bit of a difference. And the ridge along there easily fits my Point your finger in along with on this side for the thumb. So, what I found before working with these crystals was that other crystals have a left and right hand property where they like to uh, be held in a certain way to access the keys, the past timelines, the uh, windows, the Lemurian lines, everything. When I got this one, it became my favorite pair to work with because easily, look at that, it's like it was made for my hand. Look at that. And with both of them, there's a lot of energy that goes between them. Um, and it's very easy for me to now draw, easier for me to draw energy in. And to send it out. So it's something to think about when you're working with crystals, especially with the clear quartz, that you have might have one that you like, and then all of a sudden you have another one, and they both just fit in your hands just right. So, enough of my large ones here. 
the first two that I noticed that did that were these. I had this little beauty. You see all sorts of different features and lines on her. See if I can get it just right so you can see these. There we go. Light is very fickle. Crystals are very fickle when you've got too much light for them. It really depends on how you hold them. So this beauty has a very definite shape, as you can see. Sort of has a notch on the one side. Kind of leans over. And I knew that I felt very good and comfortable meditating with it. But it seemed like it was waiting for something. And then, in another random box of crystals, I got this one. Look at that. Look at how similar in shape they are. They both have the notch on the side, the angle on the bottom here, and the way that they go. Two separate fields that they might have been from, and yet they match in so many ways. So for quite a while, I was doing a lot of my healing meditations holding both of these. Fit nicely in the fingers. Definitely would be good for someone with smaller hands. That's why I like the chunkier ones. Tonky. But these two crystals are what I started calling my right and left hand crystals. Now whether someone else would hold them and they would use opposite hands or it doesn't matter. I know that these two are a matched pair. The next ones that I found were these two. Now, I don't remember which one it was that I found first, but you can see from this one. Very nice uh, tooth point, basically, is what I've seen these called, the dragon tooth. Kind of chipped at the top, but has all sorts of energy in her. Lemurian lines. A little bit of a rainbow in there. Just a beautiful point. And this one, very clear. I mean this is this is water clear. Let's let's see how clear this is. Look at that. Can you see my shirt through it? Yeah, the blue of my shirt through it. So it's a different little lines, keys. Look at how clear that baby is. Look at the Lemurian lines there. Tiny key at the top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I meditated for quite a while holding these. Very good for definite points. Directing energy, pulling in. And magnifying out. So when you're looking through your quartz, you definitely have to watch out for ones that are similar and that have beautiful synchronistic energy together, like these do. And then the last pair that I found 
before finding my large one. It's a couple of unusual ones. They have a lot of inclusions in them from uh, iron ore, I believe, and dirt and other things in them. This little beauty. It's got quite a few little inclusions in it. A lot going on behind the scenes. All adds to the strength and character of him. I say him because uh, the quartz that is more clear has more of a male, I'm not talking gender, I'm talking divine, a male energy to them. And this one, look at that, hear my angel in the background, he's meowing, he's mad, he wants some more food. Look at that Lemurian line right there. It's a nice little ridge. This one pairs up quite nicely in energy with this one, which has some definite feminine energy to it. Hides and mysteries with cloaks. Lots of Lemurian lines on it. Quite a few keys. Look at that. Look at that face right there. Look at that key right there. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? That's a good size one too. And it's on an Isis face. Isn't that beautiful? And lots of self-healing in it. How can I show this? Oh my goodness sakes. Lots of little ones coming off of it here. Triggers. But the energy of this one even though the size and shape are not exactly the same, matches the energy of this other one here. They're sort of an odd couple, they feel, but then again, they're not. See? See the angles here? Similar to the angle here. Very similar in energy with the inclusions. And I've meditated quite often with these also. And with finding the holds, the finger holds, you just have to handle the crystals. And they like to be touched and handled for the most part. They'll let you know so that the energy the power comes through them. I like these. So these are just some of my crystals and this is some of my pairs um, that I have that are male and female that are right and left handed. And yes, sometimes I do change the hands that I use them with, but uh, it's really interesting how crystals will call to each other in pairs. Um, here, let me see if I can do this here too. Something I picked up. I picked up these towers, the generators. These are smoky citrine. I got this one first. Very dark. Very hard to see anything through this one. She's very quiet, but very strong. Very hard to see. Nope, can't do anything about that. And then I picked up this little gentleman. You can see how clear it is through here. Look at that. Very beautiful. And these two are very much a pair. There we go. See? I had this one, which is a fluorite. I don't know how well you can see that one. There we go. Very short. 
lot of energy in him, her, them. Um, self heals, a little bit of purple here and there. Very, very gorgeous. And then, my friend said, here, take this one, banded fluorite. Very styling, very pretty. Very much dragon energy in this one. Look at that. But together, they form a pair. I have a couple of generators that are single, which is fine with them. This was my first one. Look at that. For a while I was getting generators, quite a few, but I really had to be called to them. Recently saw a Labradorite that just blew me away. And I'm probably going to have to pick it up. It's my amethyst. I'm going to show you uh, my little yellow adventurine. This was a curiosity. Don't know why I picked this one up yet. I know that there's some healing and everything that goes with it. So that's why I've got that one. And I have a very natural point. Which is not in a generator form, but it is a very natural point. And it helps to balance all of the energies of the other ones, of course. Yes, my princess, come here. This one called to me in my local rock shop. She called to me and called to me and I could not afford to get her. She called to me for about four months and I said, Okay, 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 I hear you, I hear you. And she very much, very much has a lot to say. There are dragonflies and there are fairies and there are butterflies within this diva, deva, sorry. And she very much is a princess and very much in charge of a lot of the energy. I'm just very thankful that I am now able to get this sweetheart out of storage and work with her. And she's the one who has the last say as to any other generators that might come in. So, talk to your crystals, listen to them. They will tell you interesting things. They will help you work with many things. And no, that sometimes they come in pairs that you can work with and meditate with and draw your energy and help you to focus and align what you need to do. And that's my little tip about working with especially clear quartz crystals. Blessings, peace in, Maggie Ravenswing. <laughs>